Hey butterflies, it's Leek and I'm back with another video. I have missed you guys. Today I'm doing a video that no one asked for, but I realized that my last updated like everyday makeup tutorial was over six months ago. I did one eight months ago and then I did one right after. So that was seven months ago. I did an everyday makeup routine and then I did an everyday drugstore makeup routine. So it's been a while, it's been almost a year. This past like two months, I've been doing a lot of different things. I've had a lot of time to experiment with different makeup products and my routine has changed a lot. So I wanted to just show you guys what I've been doing as far as like my everyday makeup because it has been looking really good. I've been getting a lot of compliments on it. Before we get into it, I'm not gonna act like I do my makeup with my hair and my face. My hair has been getting so healthy. Like, but I'm gonna put it back on this side because I need to see my face. Okay. Today I am going out to the movies with some friends, some coworkers. And this is basically the look that I would do whenever I'm gonna go out or if it's for work, like just my go-to look. This is what I'm gonna be showing you guys and I'm gonna include my eyebrows. So for brows, I used this in my recent video and my old everyday brow routine. I can't remember if that's when I wasn't putting any product in my brow or not, but I had that little phase going, which I still don't put any product in my brow, but now if I need to, I've never used any Benefit products. I use it precisely in my brow. So I'm gonna show you what I do. I just basically like paint them or brush them upwards to give them that like microbladed effect because I love that. See the difference? That's what we do to the brows. And then once they look like that, I go straight in with concealer and clean up my brows. The concealer that I use for my brows, I've been using for a while. Probably use it. My first one is Juvia's Place. The label is gone. That's how much I love it. I use the shade J18. same concealer i don't really use eyeshadow primer like if i know i'm gonna do like a super colorful look then maybe but i don't think it's that necessary and they are there's both of them sometimes i need to fill them in like if i have little spots but they actually look okay today if there were spots that i need to fill in like i said i use it precisely my brow in the shade five if i ever need to fill it in but today it looks okay now for foundation this is definitely new it's a little dirty but I used the Juno and Co sponge. If you know me, you know that the Beauty Blender has been my like ride or die. Like I do not stray away from a Beauty Blender. I never have. Ever since like 2016, a Beauty Blender has been it for me. If you know me, I don't even like the Real Techniques sponge. I literally have been strictly Beauty Blender. But this Juno and Co sponge, they sent this to me. It's like a velvety texture microfiber. And I love it for some reason. Like, you'll see when I apply my foundation why that is. But there's just something about it that I really, really love. So, I just want to put y'all on. Because this is only $6. And I absolutely love it. It changed my life. So, uh, when I was going to do this video like, a couple weeks ago, at the time, I was only using Shape Tape as foundation. I recently bought Shape Tape during my Target haul. And I told you guys that I really liked it. And I was using it as foundation because I bought two. I accidentally bought one that was like my color and then I bought one that's my concealer color. But the one that's my skin color, I was using as foundation only because I really, really liked the coverage of it. But I realized I didn't like the finish. So what I do is I mix it with my go-to foundation. I hate showing this because it's super expensive. And I'm sure there's something like it. I just have to find it. But it's the Pat McGrath Skin Fetish. I just love the natural finish of it. But it is very like medium coverage and there's like you can't really build it and this is more like full coverage so i mix the two so that i can have this finish with this coverage and that's what i put on my face and you'll see why i love the two so much like honestly this is all i'll need for my whole face like i'll just show you how well it like covers like look at that and it's 100 percent the sponge too because when i use my beauty blender it like soaks up all of the product and this one really doesn't like the product really sits on top of the sponge i do still avoid my under eyes because i'm going to put concealer there and i don't want it to be weighed down because i already do have dark circles so one thing i will say about the sponge though is that i do not do not like it for 
like concealer or anything else like that if it's not foundation and i try to blend it out it comes out very patchy i don't know what it is but so i was doing the whole eyeshadow primer thing underneath the eyes for a while i kind of stopped recently because i do it on days where my bags are pretty bad but other than that i pretty much just go in with concealer and it's good enough but also like the method that i've been doing is the reason why i don't have to use the primer anymore so i'll just let that sit again this is the same juvia's place concealer in the tarte shape tape i'm 47s tan deep sand and then in pat mcgrath i'm medium 18 i mix those two and then i let it sit for a little bit and while i'm doing that i'm going to contour my nose i still use la girl pro concealer in toast i've been using this for years there's no like real way i do this because i don't feel like i do it like there are days where it comes out really good and there are days where it comes out eh. so i never really like teach exactly how i do it because i do it differently every single day hoping that it will come out good so there's that okay so here's what i do with my under eyes now no more beauty blender i use a brush they don't make this anymore this is a morphe g24 they don't make this brush anymore because i looked it up and i wanted to tell my tiktok followers because i made a video with this brush and they're like what brush is that doesn't even exist anymore and i should have checked that before i made that video and i should have like did my research and tried to find a similar one but this is what i use it's basically like a tapered fluffy brush there are concealer brushes especially for this but this is what i do i don't use a sponge anymore i just pat it and move it around and the coverage stays so well because you know with the beauty blender it really does like suck up all the product so i would just notice that with the beauty blender and with this i can have a lot more control be a lot more precise it does take like a little bit longer i won't lie to you you have to have a little bit of patience i mean but it depends like i, I can tap really fast if i wanted to but i want it to kind of stay controlled so i don't tap it so hard and but as you can see like the coverage is there and you can definitely build it up. I've done this a few times or I've done like this one and then I'll do the tart shape tape over it. But as you can see, like it really doesn't take that long and it looks so flawless. I'm like literally like obsessed with it. It's my new favorite thing. Do you see? I love it. I'm going to do the other side. That is the concealer and I love it. Look how dewy and just fresh I look. I love it. And then I use my Huda Beauty powder. I've still been using this for years. I'm almost out and I've noticed that I need to get a lighter one because with the concealer that I use, it's way too like yellowy. But at the same time, like I'm gonna have my like Fenty one. And I use a dry beauty blender to do this because I feel like it looks perfectly fine and I just press it into like, my fine lines and things like that. And I like semi-bake, like I overly put product basically, but I don't like let it sit there for too long, but I do put a lot of product to bring it on my smile lines, put some on my forehead, and then I just go back and I push it in with a dry sponge, it works. And a dry sponge looks a lot smoother in my opinion. When it's wet, you can risk it like looking patchy, kind of like I said with the Juno sponge. So with the dry sponge, I don't get the like patchy look. It looks very smooth, very together. A little fun baby that I've been holding the whole time is the Juvia's Place bronzed, bronze, bronze, it says bronze, bronze, I don't know, in the shade tan. It basically comes with a bronzer and like a contour shade and I got it in the shade tan. I use this top one because of how warm it is and I'm not really a contour person, I'm more of a bronzer person. So if you guys have been around for a while, you know that I have used the same bronzer since forever, like going on five years now, which is this Too Faced Chocolate Bronzer. Been expired, been out, been not working anymore, and I just kept using it. But this has changed my life, so this is what I use now and I use still use a fan brush, but I just apply it. I like a fan brush, by the way, just because of how chiseled it can make you look and you can be very precise in putting it right where your cheekbone is instead of like a big fluffy bronzing brush. Like it could just get all over the place and it could be hard to fix. So I like to just go in with a fan brush because it will more than likely go exactly where it's supposed to go. Bronzer is one of my favorite, favorite steps. I think lately like it's just been the highlighting portion so like 
contour and concealer bronzer and concealer are two of my favorite things like i love how bright my under eyes look and then i go in and i bronze up my face i love that that's like what i live for so as you can see the bronzer i do bring it onto my cheeks like a blush because i like the way that that looks i do go in with my blush my everyday blush is like a neutral kind of berry blush but today i'm going to use my nars orgasm cheek palette i'm going to use this one right here I like like a berry blush for every day. I don't like like a neutral color. I like it to have some color. Like I tried orange recently and I actually really liked it, but it goes so well with the bronzer. This one I've been using every day. So I do add a little bit of that same bronzer to my eyelid. I know a lot of girls do that. They use their bronzer in their eyelid and I honestly like never understood it. I used to be like, why do they do that? Like that's dumb but i tried it and like it really does do a little something something like it makes it look like you have something up there even if you don't have anything so i just literally like dip it in once go back and forth and that is how i will leave my eyes for every day because i don't want to do too much a little bit like extra on the outer part but it's just really easy like anyone can do it if you don't have eyeshadow you can just add the bronzer as you can see, it looks really cute. And then we spray our face. You guys know I love the Morphe Luminous Setting Spray. I love it to just blend all this niceness together. We're doing lashes. Lashes of choice. I ran out of all my... Well, I lost my other pair of my lashes that I wear all the time. So while many of my other ones to come in online, I've been wearing Lily Lashes in Miami. Those are my lashes that I get in store if... I'm waiting on online lashes, but you guys know that I mainly support small business brands. I will put the brands that I support in my bio and with my code because those are the ones that I will honestly recommend over these. Because these are just expensive, like, for no reason. The glue that I use is the Duo Rose Water and Biotin Strip Lash. It comes in like a white packaging, but it has purple letters. But it's clear technically, or it is clear. To me, it dries clear, but this is my favorite, the paint on one, because doesn't have that nasty smell like all the other duo glues and it works perfectly fine so i just paint it onto my lash line and there is the lash right in there both on there they are i love lashes like this that are like short and long short and long those are kind of my favorite styles lately and then we're gonna add a highlighter I either use the NARS cheek palette or I use my Maven Beauty highlighters because I love those. But I've been using the Maven Beauty ones lately because I've been wanting a little bit more of a glow. I've been kind of missing the whole highlighter looking like a glazed donut face. So I've been kind of doing that again. So yeah, I've missed that. So I started doing it again. I started adding like a blinding highlight because it doesn't look like as blinding in person. Like you really have to turn to see it, but. I, know, I missed it a lot and i love like the glow that my face has with the highlight so i like it it's bigger than i wanted it i have like a little bit right in my inner corners sometimes i'll add like a little bit of brown on the bottom but not lately lately i've just been adding the mascara and it's looked perfectly fine and now the part you've all been waiting for or i've been waiting for a lip combo one thing about me is i'm gonna put on a lip combo i'm gonna put on a lip liner and a lip gloss so my go-to lately is actually a new one that hasn't been in any of my lip combo videos i told you guys that tiktok you should be just my tiktok supporters because they get the lip combos like that i'm gonna use this one i have shown on here this is juvia's place liner brownie i'm gonna use it with this new gloss i got from morphe how cute is this packaging in free bird bomb so there's the liner my signature look and then the gloss you guys are gonna see how freaking pretty this gloss is like looks freaking bomb freaking bomb okay so i still don't know what i'm wearing today but i put on like this basic tee with this monkey on it i got it from target 
I might wear it though because it's kind of cute but this is the completed look I think it looks bomb other than my little visitor but this is my everyday look that I do everyday look it took me literally probably less than 30 minutes with the talking it takes a little bit longer but this is my go-to look it's so easy so simple I look so fresh faced so good it looks like I did a lot more than I actually did I feel like so I invite you guys to try this look out yourselves but if you guys want to see more makeup videos like this one make sure you thumbs up this video comment down below and subscribe for some more link in your life and I will see you guys in the next one Bye.